Hi everyone and welcome back to another day of the Bravo Challenge. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple things. First, we're going to learn about how you can change your app icon to design it to your own design. And then we're going to learn a little bit about prototyping and how you can use that to connect multiple screens of your app together. You can use prototyping to connect elements like icons or buttons to other pages of your app. Okay, so I'm going to start off this tutorial by showing you how you can create an app icon. For one, this will be the image that shows up when you create your app. And two, when you're on your Bravo account, you can tell the differences between your app because what you put as the app icon will show as the image there. So in order to create an app icon, I'm going to go ahead and hide this so I can show you from the beginning. We're going to go ahead and you can click on the frame button at the top left or hit the F button. We're going to create a frame and we're going to make this 1024 by 1024. And we're going to go ahead and name that frame with the asset icon tag. Right. Now whatever design you put within this frame will be set as your icon image. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this right here as my carrot logo for my recipe app and a yellow background and that there is what I will see now as my app icon. Now let's talk a little bit about prototype. Now prototype in Figma allows us to show the navigation between multiple screens and this is how we'll actually set up the navigation in our app between screens that we want to show. So in my app design here, I added a detail screen down here at the bottom that shows the title of the recipe, a little Lottie animation right here, and then the list of instructions for that recipe. Now, what I want to happen is when someone taps on the recipe here on my homepage, I want it to navigate to the detail page here. And we did a little bit of this prototyping when we went through how menus work. But we're gonna go to the prototype tab here. So instead of design, we're gonna hit the prototype. And what we can do is, I'm gonna delete some of these so we can show it from scratch is select the item that I want when tapped that will navigate me to the detail page. Now, you have to be careful for what you select because if I have this selected right now, this means anything uh, tapped within this container or section is gonna navigate me to the detail screen. And I don't want that to happen. I only want when this recipe block here is tapped to navigate. So I'm gonna double click in Again, within this slider is a slide, which is not the block, but this whole section or area here. So I'm gonna double click one more time, and now you see framed is only the block. So I'm gonna take this here, this plus button, and drag it down to my details screen. Now always remember if you have uh, a navigation to another screen, you always want a way to navigate back. So in my details screen here, I added a back button. I'm going to double click until I get it and I'm going to drag that back to the home screen. So with this you can create multiple screens just using the prototype tool you can choose how your user navigates and what is pressed to navigate through your app using those icons.